Gosh. Just want to see I'm getting out there. And it looks like I am. Give me two minutes. Put some uh, shares and links around. I just noticed how much more shadow there is. I raised all my lights, get them out of my eyes. Make it a little easier on me. Still gives me all the brightness I want down here. And especially here. But, uh, And actually, let's try one more. Uh-oh, Doom's in the house. Did I see earlier you got a package you were going to open online, Doom? Because I could have swore I saw you had a new big box of something. One more, one more. Oi, dee 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 dee. Who can I share this to? I gotta be careful if you overshare, you get nailed for spamming. And got too many groups. Yay, I'm on Twitch. All right. GTA Bricks like the stream. Thank you, GTA Bricks. One more moment, I promise, guys. Just trying to see if one of my buddies, if Ryan's going to be around, but I don't know. All right. Well, first we can turn that off. Only going to show off four packages today, but I got stories, I think, for just about everything. So let's. We'll do this one last. This is the mystery package. I honestly know, you know what? Yeah, we'll do this one first. I know nothing about this one. All right, yeah, I'm sorry for the delay. My wife still had the room for a while. Whether you're on Facebook, hey, GTA Bricks, does Target deliver to Canada? Well, indirectly, maybe. Toads, maybe. Oh, it's quite possible. 
it is quite possible. Doom. Funny, I was hoping to get a Halo set that I ordered, but instead I got a Halo set someone sent. Oh, okay, so I saw the Blue Banshee, so that's one step closer to, to uh, completing your collection for the Banshees now. I was under the impression he sent you parts for the Banshee. But I didn't I didn't uh, manage to see the see everything there. I got a few on GTA bricks who's hanging out on the Facebook as opposed to the YouTube of Doom. because um, I am streaming all over the place. GTA bricks on YouTube, Facebook. What else did I say? Oh on Twitch. But you know what? I don't know if I'm gonna keep doing that Twitch thing. Not that it's harming the stream or anything, it's not. But, uh, yeah, I tell you, G GTA Bricks, I think, has got a pretty good nose for things. Which is why I didn't respond to him at all. Oh, that's your co collection complete. So how long is it going to take you to pump out a video or something for all your Banshees? I have a few missing pieces, but I had it complete at one point, so I count. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Reasonably complete. Like I said, you you if you do a compilation video or something, you want to do a roundup. I'll toss you a link out of my uh, Warthog video for sure. I can do five links, so I'll toss you one. Why not? But anyway, back to uh, trying to figure out where the sweet spot is. I reset half my lights did some permanent stuff to get them off the desk. I actually have 24 more inches. Ryan Drummond's like the stream. Well, it's about time, Ryan. Now, where are you hiding? You hiding on Facebook or are you hiding on YouTube? I'm very pleased that these are boxes and not some silly poly bags. There we go, Brick Maniac. Hanging out on YouTube. So I managed to get um, two to start. Oh, wow. Okay, so I will be making some adjustments. <laughs> Look at that. Wow, and I bolted those in. Okay, so adjustments are coming. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. I, I did not think about that. But I can fix that. I can fix that. Doom, haha, I might do the roundup after I edit these reviews. Sorry if I don't catch everything here. My dog, don't worry about that. Yes, uh... So since GTA Bricks seems to know a whole lot about these, you want to fill us in on what makes these so special? I mean, they said they're special edition. Does, uh, were these supposed to be SDCCs? And I'm going to try something. So I'm still here. Do a live bricks review. Just see how that looks. That might not be too bad. What? Which? Oh, okay. Hang on, hang on. We got other stuff afoot. Or do we? I'm going to put this here for a sec, guys. I'm trying to figure out which light is offending here. Uh-huh. Comic-Con canceled. All right, there you go. Yeah, I knew there was a reason I got conned into these. I'm glad to have them, and I'm glad they're bought.
It's just feet. I don't need nearly as much length as I thought I did during lives. Limited. My next batch is going to be smaller pickups, basically. Ooh. Okay, well, i got to have some light, so that's not so bad. I mean, I've always had bright spots. Can't be helped. But there we go. Awesome. Um, and one of these will be... One of these is going to be in a giveaway. Because I know I've got more coming. I've already got it con confirmed, so... I decided for sure... Well, hey... Let me come back. Let me come back. And that just makes me even darker. Man, I just noticed that everything got dark now. And I guess I'm going to have a little bit of curtain there. Oh, well. Very pleased though that it's a box. I am so done with bags and poly bags. Granted, 120 pieces in a box of size is kind of, that's kind of ridiculous. Cause that's pretty much, that's pretty much it. So every time I see a post with Lego talking about their new paper bags and all this other crap that they're gonna do for the environment, it's garbage, come on guys. It's not even funny. Uh, speaking of not funny, that one there is just not doing it for me. Mm. No fixy fixy. Oh, I see it's a sacrifice. I can get one or the other. Oh, but yeah, it was it was nice to be able to grab these. I don't know how much longer I'm going to be able to utilize my connections in the States for sets, but I'm going to keep doing it as long as I can. Well, my daughter's come out of hiding. Uh, you, need liquid. you need liquids? You didn't tell me there was more of this uh, fruit. Oh, give me one of those. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can tell me you put that in the fridge. I didn't know you made so much. Okay. Usually you like full blended stuff. Awesome. Thank you. Awesome. Yeah, it's good. What, so, which set are you building? Um, the Overwatch payload one. Overla Overwatch payload. That's the truck. Yeah. Cool. Well, we'll see how long it takes you daughter's in a room building an overwatch set she made me get her uh, so you get toad special hideaway I'm still not tempted to get Mario I really hate that figure I hate these tie-ins where they tie in the Lego with uh, with technology gimmicks or Bluetooth gimmicks I mean, Technic, that's one thing, but all this other stuff. I call it Kitty, this is Kitty Lego, and then, you know, all this other crap you gotta have. I mean, it's cool that the sensor's in the bottom of Mario and all that, but... I mean, it looks like people are having fun with it. And I, I, I love seeing new pieces come out of it. So we got that. Let's see, I've actually got room off screen. Whoa. Something new, something new. All right. Amazon the other day. This wasn't Prime Days stuff, was it? Prime, Prime Days was last week, right? Yeah, Mario gives the sound to the system, though. Yeah, and that's... 
you know, I guess that's cool. And I guess it's better than trying to put little battery things all over the place that will just die and warp and leach acid into the plastic. By the way, check all your old battery powered gimmicks in Lego. You can't believe how quick that stuff leaks out over time. Yeah, this wasn't Prime Days. This was just whatever discount the other day. Minimal, like 15 or 20 or something percent. Nothing huge. I'm pretty sure anyway on this one. I'm starting to cut back the, the purchasing because frankly there's very little left this year now. So unless it's deep discounts. By the way, check out your Walmarts. Uh, the last two, three days, some really good deep discounts. I was throwing a bunch of discounts Jazz's way in his stream and then A and A stream in Ottawa. I found him a bunch of deals. And which one is this one? Not that I'm terribly excited about, but I'm a Star Wars guy, so any Star Wars Lego is always cool. Didn't have it. Still don't know if I think much of it. Obi-Wan's hut. But it was discounted, so I'll take it. That's just not so bad. Uh, I'm just trying to remember where Star Wars. Yeah, I mean, I guess, yeah, they did spend some time at Obi-Wan's place, right? I mean, you get a Tusken Raider, as far as I'm concerned. Tusken Raiders is worth the whole set. More tan pieces. I guess if you got um, the big set that I got screwed on, tie this together, you'd have a lot of parts to do some nice mocking. Nice R2, a nice Luke Skywalker. Okay, Obi-Wan. Uh, let's see. Well, that's a nice thing about having those bright lights. See, if I do this for you, you actually get a pretty good idea of the box. That's always been an advantage of my super bright lights. I'll f uh, the ones above, 6,500s. I guarantee to take your vision if you spend enough time with me. So yeah, actually it's it's a really good condition box. I would call that slight rounding there, but and that's just manufacturing there, but uh, it's actually in pretty good shape. Sun five two seven zero Obi One's hut. Not a great discount, but an okay discount. It's always nice when you wake up in the morning. Oh, well, it's something. Now I notice uh, GTA bricks. You were buying like fives and tens of certain sets. Now, of course, you've got a Bricklink store. So you definitely have different concerns from a lot of us. Parting out, or you sell the sets as is, or close into the life of a Bricklink store. So I'm fascinated. Because every year, I figure I'm going to turn, you know, 200,000 pieces and, you know, whatever number of sets I got in storage into a Bricklink store. But I'm just afraid of losing what I like about this stuff. The fun factor. It's already hard enough for me to try and make a timeline to get online. I mean, I was late by 25 minutes. 
So some of you clued in that there was a nice deep discount. It was about 56% the other day. I didn't get all that off. There we go. Now see, sometimes they put that little slip in there and sometimes they don't. So, this is one of those sets that I would never buy. <laughs> Not a fan of the Y-Wings. I don't even know if I've got one sitting in the backlog from the last wave. Maybe I do. I bet you Ryan can check my snups faster than I can and tell me if I've still got a Y-Wing I haven't built. But this was um, like 56% off. So it was only like 39 Canadian versus, was it 89, 90, something like that. And the box is in really great condition. What's funny is, I know that's a very unpopular opinion for me, huh? Yeah, the Y-Wing. Oh yeah, haste. I got three more, but this one's mine. The others are for flips or trades or whatever. Someone will trade me at some point. I figured it was good value, but this baby's mine. And what's funny is this was ordered well before this. And this came by the no-name Mickey Mouse couriers that Amazon likes to use locally in major centers like Toronto. You know, dum-dums with cars. And uh, that was my mistake. Normally, I set up for Canada Post like this. And when I went to check, like, I got a thing saying blah, 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 shift, like, oh, cool. Which one? Or both? And it's like, Oh, all right, it's this, and it's like, that's odd. And what's the tracking number? I looked at the tracking number, and it's like, oh, that's not a Canada Post tracking number. And it's like, oh, no, it's going to be one of their clowns. <sighs> As it is, I sent Amazon a complaint because their clown uh, came to my door without a mask on and such. So it's like, yeah, that ain't cool. Take it easy, Doom. Thanks for joining us. You passed on it, Maniac? Or you, I thought you couldn't, go, I thought you missed it. I mean, it's not a bad build or nothing. I'm just not a fan of these ships. I think Star Wars. I don't think Y Wings. I think X Wings. I think TIE Fighters. Millennium Falcons. I want to modify it into an Enterprise. Every time I see these, you know, engine, looks like it's the newer soft material. A uh, turquoise astromech, you get another D0 in case you didn't get it before. You get the Indiana Jones, a Poe Dameron, version of Poe Dameron. Oh, yeah, right, you had a chance to get it on Best Buy. Actually, it's probably a good thing you didn't. Everyone I know who got it on the Best Buy, they already got it delivered. Big sticker. Big sticker right there which seems to be a uh, thing to consider more room all right so we can do the get But I'll entertain any guesses you might have. I don't know what roadcast means. <laughs> I kid you not. I think, oh, broadcast, 
broadcast interrupted. Really? Ooh, wait. Let me see how bad this is. Man, I'm losing a few more too. And it keeps freezing, eh? I wonder. Oh. I am losing a few frames. Um, look in here. Can I see? Stream quality is good though. No, that's already in my footer. Actually, yeah, and YouTube says it's okay too. Okay, so we'll keep an eye on that. Hmm. Yeah, I'm looking here. And actually, the percentage going down, so. We're going to blame that one on, I don't know who. But it's getting better. I'm watching it clear up now. But I would like to see. I want to make sure that video is moving. All right. So I'm good there. It's so humid in Toronto. A, A GTA bricks. All right, that's working too. And I don't check Twitch because frankly, no one's checking Twitch. It's that bad. It's that bad. Uh, I think Twitch dies tonight for me, guys. I think it was cool saying that I had Twitch as a third stream, but it's like, eh. Oh, GTA, I was just asking, what do you think of the humidity today here in Toronto? I found it crazy. And then at 8 o'clock, it was started raining, and me and my daughter went out to Dairy Queen. And we had to stand in line outside. Only in Canada, you know, in you know, at this time of the year, we find, you know, Canadians outside in line waiting for ice cream. So back to the mystery box, bag, box. It sounds like there's two in there. And clearly bricks. Name and address, no clue. I don't have this tracking code and anything I'm waiting for. This is, this is a true mystery to me. I had just posted uh, a box earlier. And then I went to see a man about a horse. Haha. -ha. Oh, Maniac's got snow. Ah, you beat us to it. I'm in the washroom. Knock on the door. My wife goes to get it. Can of post. So, since none of you can guess, and I can't tell you if you're right or wrong, let's cut this open. It looks a little disgusting on this side, but it was probably on the floor of a truck, right? I just on that side I gotta be careful. So hmm. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> 
Wow. All right. Mystery solved. So the purists out there are not going to like this. But at least I got a story now to tell. Yep. Okay, I know exactly who sent this. Okay, so I'm going to close that up. First, the envelope. It looks like they use this whole envelope for one or two pieces. So let's see. Because if this is what I think it is, then I got I got a story. One I had given up on. <laughs> uh, you know what's funny? While I appreciate that they <laughs> they still didn't send everything. That's uh, funny. Okay. So, a month ago, two months ago, I went to Walmart and I saw a tank set on the shelf. From and it it was uh, branded Playday Expressions, imported by Walmart. My favorite company. And I figured, hey, it was a cool looking tank and I'd build brick tanks and why not? Brought it home, very quickly re uh, figured out who the manufacturer was, the real manufacturer, that was Sluban. And it wasn't hard to figure out simply because I took the number, the M36 or the M38 number, on the side of the box, looked it up on Google and found all kinds of references to Amazon Worldwide showing Sluban box sets, Sluban AliExpress sets, you name it, blah, blah, blah. It wasn't hard to figure out. So to play the expressions of uh, brick sets, tanks, military, city type stuff, it's all Sluban, which isn't a bad thing. Sluban quality is not that bad. But when I built the set, it was missing the head for one of the two figures. And it had a malformed track piece. So they've sent me six replacements. So that's kind of cool. But so far, no head for the minifigure. So now let's see what else is here. So they sent. Sluban police set M38 B0653 263 pieces for six plus and it looks you know pretty typical of say a city type set get a little SWAT police vehicle looks like a single seater Might sit them side by side. Yeah, maybe side by side. Looks like it might be eight studs wide. Three figures. Rigid box set. Manufacturer Century UG Toys Company Limited. Sluban. Do we get a year on this anywhere? Sluban-NorthAmerica.com And no year. Interesting. Okay, well. Okay, and they sent a second set. Ooh, a small little fighter. 
M38B0683, a World War II fighter. Now, what's this is, um, huh, it's going to be eight by seven and a half inches long. Is this a two in one? No, it's not a two in one set. So that was interesting. They said they were going to send something. This was two months ago, and I kind of gave up on it. We've had snow for the past week as well. Uh, good all out. When I was going back and forth with this company, trying only to get a replacement part for the tank tread and the missing head. Any chance there's a loose head in here? No. I mean, I absolutely, I honestly, I never even thought I would get that. Just because, you know, I'm trying to get replacement parts for a no-name Walmart house brandy type set thing, you know. You know, it's not like you, I was ordering from Mattel or Lego or whatever, whatever, whatever. You know, when you buy the cheap stuff from Walmart, you don't, you don't expect to get this kind of help. When something goes wrong, usually you just box up, take it back, and take your chances at the returns desk and pretty much walk out with your money usually. So I am glad to get these treads. But I think I got to send one more email to the North American rep and say, hey, any chance of getting that head? Because I'll tell you the truth, the head is what really broke my heart. What was weird was when I built that tank set, the uh, that Playday Expression set, the the tank treads were short, and then they had put a ch exactly the same, but pretty much the exact same way. So what I did was I used that chain link. To join the tread and to just hit it anything and, you know this is just this is just you know hey there's two more videos right two more sets two more videos um, cost me nothing but time and I'll give them a, you know a fair build and a fair review I'll build it live so you'll see what happens when I do them good bad or, or indifferent you know And it's definitely better than me ordering some of this stuff because some of my cheap sources, this will end up just coming in bags from China at about a third the cost, of course. But um, it's actually very cool to get a box Luban set. Now i got two of them. And they do make some cool military stuff I've been interested in. Which is one reason I jumped on that Walmart set, even though I didn't know Sluban when I first picked it up. I had an inkling. Like, actually, that's this tank here. Is, let's see. Uh, that's not going to be too good. I don't know why I'm doing that. The cameras are the, all the same. I got three of the same camera. I can hold them up to each one. And I've locked their focus on all of them. So they're not going to zoom in. <laughs> and I do that on purpose so it doesn't have that in and out effect that you see with some guys videos you know zoom in zoom out it's a, it's a trade-off I, I have locked focus and it's stable personally i like the fighter better but i like military stuff but you know a swat team it's kind of cool box is a little ding but what do you want when you put a small one on a big one and compresses down but Thank you, Sluban North America, for trying to correct the problem on the Walmart product that you guys manufacture for Walmart. For 60, you know, Walmart's uh, head office, 6800 Merritt's Drive, blah, blah, blah. I appreciate it. Now if I can just get the head from you guys so I can have the minifigure. Well, yeah, that was the most disappointing part was you have two figures and I think it was the pilot, the tank driver, no head. So I'm going to fix this tank probably before I go to bed tonight. I don't know what I'm going to do with these. Now I've got official extra 
slew band parts. It's kind of interesting that also the differences in their boxes. I'm almost positive this is a newer branding for them because I seen that branding a long time ago. And without the thumb, I mean the thumb's still there. Also, this is, I like the mat better just because it's fighting me less. John Jacobs liked the stream. Hey, John, where are you hiding? So, yeah, the Lego purists are probably feeling a little itchy and feeling, you know, they got some bugs. <laughs> I should keep that in there just so I don't lose it just yet. I still got my Mega Blocks Call of Duty part in an envelope over there from the last time. So that turned out okay. Considering I thought I was going to have just this this week for you guys. This happened because of whatever silly decision. This was just really dumb luck that something, you know, that it came up cheap. So now I'm going to start checking a couple of times a day. And this, well, you know, I don't, I'm not going to look a gift horse in the mouth. I'm very appreciative to get a ch another chance to try this Luban stuff. It's not actually the first time. I built the entire Pacific Rim set. There was four of those robots and I'll tell you the truth they were wicked those f robots I think were between three and five hundred pieces each and they stood as tall as the Lego Star Wars uh, buildable figures and of course unlike the Star Wars buildable figures which are a hundred pieces or less with a Technic frame and ball joint crap you actually built the slew band Pacific Rim stuff, and they were really nice. So I'm really hopeful I'm going to like these. I'm hoping the instructions are good. I know the minifigures are different. Um, you might see this here. I'm not sure if their figures have the ball joint for the shoulders, but they do have a more rounded leg, a little bit more natural. For, you know, squarish figures. Oh, naturally, the, the upper torso here. This is a rounded torso, too. It, it's a little slimmer front to back. Um, the shoulders are a lot less sharp compared to a Lego figure. I don't have anything handy. But when you look at, like, this Astro Boy Cope, Kof, K-O-P-H figure. And the sharp edges. Boy, he shows up poorly, doesn't he? I want something that will show up a little better. I don't really import these anymore. Just because I'm not interested in them and there's no value to them. This is another KOPH figure. Could be a Corqui. Corcute. K-O-R-C-U-I-T. Which was a Korean company. But instead of the sharp, sharp edges of a Lego or Lego-like figure, they're rounded, more natural looking. And instead of square back legs, they're got an angle to them. I only recommend buying these odd things if you don't mind them never going up in value. You can't really sell them. But the prints on them can be quite amazing. Lego Zelda figure. Uh, was it Link? But even this guy is flawed. His head is slightly flawed. It's something I fixed on a few of them. But the prints are pretty amazing. Front, back, all the way around the legs. Like literally all the way ago. So these... 
One's for the stash. One I'm probably doing on the giveaway since I know I got more coming. And these I will build and I'll build them live. And I guess I'll have to put a little disclaimer saying uh, that's either a sponsored video or it's, you know, I didn't buy these. These came from the manufacturer. I gotta say something, right? So I'll have to say that when I do these, but I'll, I will do these. some. I guess sometime soon I'll tell you to, this is a play set. I'm more interested in the figures than the play set. And anytime you can get a 80 or $90 set for 40 bucks and it's in a theme you like, you know, you jump on it. I mean, I'm already printed. That would have been so nice printed. Now when I build these, I'll have to come up with a strategy on, am I going to put the decals on? Look, this is supposed to be bands, but the stickers are not full size to the bricks, which is a problem actually sometimes when you do labels on other companies' bricks. Many companies, what they'll do is their stickers are full edge to edge, which is actually so much harder to put on. Legos are actually a lot easier to put on, but then you don't get the connectivity between the labels when you get bands like this, right? I mean, so whoever did the set, they clearly decided, well, it was more pleasing to the eye to take two of them pushing together close to the edge and two of them closer to the edge. Because if you did them dead center in each of those pieces, you might have even gaps, but it's not going to look right. It's just not. When you got two, it's not bad because then you could do the two close together. But when you have three or more, when it comes to Lego, very hard, very hard. The uh, the Lego Mustang, I don't know if those were stickers or if they were prints. Everyone who's built it, the that bottom band is horrible. And if that's a print, that makes it even worse. So everyone, got quite a nice awkward silence there. Is anyone building anything tonight? And if not, what have you built recently? Because I don't know if I got anything else to showcase or that I'm willing to show you. Mm, maybe no. I got I gotta save something. A few more frames went down the toilet, I see. Well, if it's quiet, maybe we'll call it. I'm staring at my multi-chat here, by the way. My trusty, is it Bear Grylls or Gerber? I ask this every time I look at it. Gerber, because so I got Bear Grylls somewhere too. Good knife, good weight. Oh, the Kessel Run Falcon tomorrow for me. Oh my God. I, you know what? I just looked at it when I was redoing the lights. I don't know what you think of that Falcon. You know, when I going into before the movie was a thing and we saw some of those photos ahead of time it's like okay i like the blue and in, in blue on white scheme a bit you know kind of look racy sporty and i and you know i dug some of the modifications on it in my understanding from all the previous canon and non-canon stuff about the falcon you know the front was actually designed to be a mandible for moving cargo containers, you know, in the shipping lanes. So when we saw that escape pod thing in the front, 
say, okay, so it looks kind of longer and more bullet nose and more sporty. But I really, really hated it. <laughs> it really struck me. It was one thing for the Falcon to be white. I could get that. It should look younger, cleaner, you know, less beat up. You know, it hadn't been used for the smuggling, you know, much or at all yet. But uh, I really hated that nose on it. So when that set come out, I really crapped all over it. And that's one of those sets where I got a super deep discount. Um, that was a prime day's deal, if I recall for me. Because I had no love for that set at all. That Kessel Run Falcon. But I did end up getting it. The one I'm trying to decide is I still have not gotten the current Falcon. The, um, the one with the fixed pie pieces. Because I think they did a nice, nice build to that. I think they improved some stuff there. The white is what got me. I had it sitting for a long time and thought, why not? What I sh maybe what I should do is consider when I get back to doing the Lego, doing Star Wars, but doing doing them based on movies. What set is relevant to what movie and building out that movie? That could be cool. Yeah, yeah, 75 bucks at Costco. I don't know if mine was a Costco one. There's only a handful I have gotten from Costco, and only when it was a significant deal. But I, uh, I th I'm pretty sure that was part of a batch of seven that I scooped up on Prime Days, because there was like a whole batch of them that I just went nuts on a while back. Actually, I gave up. Now I think about it. I gave up my Costco membership. Not that it matters much online. You don't need it for the online deals. But, um, yeah, I gave it up. <laughs> Just wasn't using it. We weren't shopping there. And actually, um, mine expired in April. But when the COVID stuff kicked in, Going to Costco was dumb at first. Like, it was, couldn't get in. The lines were stupid, and it's like, forget it. Um, plus, everyone was doing a run on toilet paper and whatever, and it's like, you know, we were so much smarter than that just because of the way we shop normally. That wasn't even an issue for us. I mean, anytime you heard me talk about panic shopping, it was pretty much as a joke because we were always well-situated. But if you wanted to see panic shopping at its best at Costco, March and April was amazing. It's a great time to people watch. I'd starve without Costco, but yeah, the lines were so dumb. <laughs> it was something else. On what I call the third night of chaos, we took our daughter to the Great Canadian Superstore. Not because we needed anything, just the shop, just basic, you know, and to get out because it's a family ritual. And we went in there and we saw the lines and the people and everything else. And when we figured out that it would take us 25, 35 minutes or whatever, we pretty much said, screw this. And we just people watched and we thought it was fascinating. You know, because no matter what you say, you know, I don't judge people. You don't judge people. We don't judge people. Everyone judges people on some level. And that was a great night to judge people. <laughs> big, big people, small people, whatever they had in their cart, you drew an image of what kind of person they were or how they thought. And we just thought it was fascinating. Just as much as about us as about them. Just thought it was fascinating. Yeah, 
Hey, you're lucky you don't see what's in this cup. This is a blended fruit drink my daughter makes. Really good, but it looks like hell. No reason I had her get me a bottle of water. Love this stuff. Hey, Brian, what are you building? You always got to build Friday night or Saturday night. Don't make me come and break down your house. I persevered. I have power supply working for my... Oh, right, right. I forgot. You're modding the arcade. The one up. So, yeah. I power supply working for my arcade. That's a win for me. Haha. <laughs> um, well, Cinder Sins. Do I have an all-time favorite set? Oh, and, and, okay, and Maniacs working on the Yoda. So do I have an all-time favorite set? Actually, I promised... I promised one of you guys a top five. <laughs> like, and I didn't give it nearly as much thought as I thought I would. Um, uh, built... It's got to be, no matter what, it's going to be my UCS Falcon. Um, size. Skill. Because I don't... It, it was, you know, it's not that it's a sketchy build, but it's it's got its complications. It's not a Technic build, but it's, it's a tough build. Um, it can be very daunting, that's for sure. And you build so much before it really looks like much. But yeah, that my UCS Falcon is. That's always going to be. I think it's going to be my number one. Until something equally big, and detailed. And ideally, Star Wars base comes along, because that's what brought me to the dance. I mean, I'm looking at these UCS sets down here. Um. And none of these are going to tickle me like the Fal uh, like the Falcon does. The Slave One isn't. The Snow Speeder isn't. Oh yeah, now see here you go. Me saying I don't like the Y Wing, but of course, you know, oh, I don't like the Y Wing, but. You know, if you're going to have a Y-Wing, then you might as well have a good Y-Wing, right? <laughs> oh. And speaking of my Falcon, I don't keep this book with, with my Falcon since I took my Falcon apart. I mean, how can you not like a set that's got a spiral-bound book? I mean... Well, I'm sure a lot of people made mistakes on the, the when building the Falcon. It's so easy to, but I mean, just look at this. Just so huge. And the best part is, now that it's taken apart, whenever I get around to rebuilding it, it's going to be a whole new challenge, because now I'm going to have to do that pre-sort. And, I mean... It's in like basically a 25 liter tote or not 25 liters, whatever it is. Big Home Depot tote right now. I'm looking at it. I mean, how many steps? Look, 1,350 ish steps. 75. 1375, give or take. Which is basically you playing around with the alternate build version of it. I think I built it to the classic Empire Strikes Back uh, look as opposed to the new movie look. I should be a little more careful with that. I don't want to lose those pages. Oh, oh. I mean, these books, I think, are like 100 bucks on their own.
I'm picking up the UCS Falcon soon. The UCS Slave one's a fun build. Wasn't a super big fan of the Y-Wing build, though. I mean, it, it looks detailed, and that's enough for me. But um, what's funny is, and this is the, uh, you know, the yellow. The Y-Wing from a year ago or two years ago, that also was yellow. In some respects, was a little more accurate on the shape, if I recall. So it's going to be a little interesting. I'll tell you what I hate. So you see this box. UCS, right? Let's see. I'm feeling going up, going up. Wow. So that's it, guys. That far up the box. That's where I feel the parts. You want to save space, take all your Lego out of your boxes. So if you intend to build them, Take them out. Well, there's some of the other freebie stuff, the brochures and other crap I got, the posters, all the uh, promo launch day stuff. And what I do is to make sure these f these fit into a billy, because a billy bookcase is only what eleven inches deep. I take the box and you saw I would shake it like this but then I shake it to one corner so all the weight is in one side and that's going and that'll go into the Billy bookcase so if this is sticking out it's hollow there's no weight when I have the boxes hanging above my head I still haven't put a extension on that USB camera but you know, Oh, that's not even on. Okay. Monitor camera on. When I put the boxes, let's see, over my head. Boy, this is going to look weird. Over my head, all that overhang, that's empty. That's dead weight. Oh, like empty air. Any boxes? Oh yeah, that's my new trick. I put foil under the cameras. See how bright they are? But um Yeah, that can go anywhere. Hey, thanks for joining me, GTA. Hey, before you go, hang on. Six AM wake up for the Lego order. Lego order what? up for lego orders oh because your shop you're working you're working your store all right you got to tell me where you generally where you live you don't have to tell me exactly where you live i don't want you freaking out or nothing oh and things aren't so crazy we can do a meetup I can't do this with the headset on. Oh, the man, it's huge and it's heavy. You know, someday when I build the Death, St uh, what do you call the Death Star Destroyer, it um, it's got similar size bo uh, manual as far as I know. So it's some people take the uh, spiral binding off, snip it completely. It's so much easier just to have a few sheets at a time. But of course, you've damaged the book. But if you don't care, it's not a big deal, right? So, yeah, I'm sorry about, uh, there, turn it off. Sorry about the non-Lego brick toys, but I am all bricks count, so fair warning. 
And I'm willing to keep this going as long as people are talking. I got nowhere to be. I'm just catching up here on Brick Maniac's comments. So after Yoda is the Jedi Starfighter with Hyper Room. That one's an interesting one. Is that the blue one or the red one? I built them both, but only one I have 100% complete. One, I am missing the figures I bought. I had a really good deal. I bought two sets. One was the red one. Oh, okay. And I bought one of those ringed fighters without the figures. And I also bought the Wookiee gunship without the figures, which I totally regret. I mean, it was cheap, cheap. Don't get me wrong. But it's like, yeah. It's one of the few times I intentionally bought a set that didn't have figures just to build it. And it's like, eh, wish I had the figures. And I no longer want to chase figures. I no longer want to chase loose parts. Does not interest me in the slightest. I don't find it fun. Not anymore. That's why I don't like to buy used much anymore. Except for from a handful of good sources. And even then, sometimes they bite you in the butt. So it was nice having GTA Bricks in, a uh, Bricklink store from the uh, Ontario area, Toronto, Ontario area. He's actually, I've noticed he's definitely taken a very strong interest in my contest, and that's good. He's also taken a very strong interest in the Bricklink group I created on Facebook, so I'm happy about that. Cinder Sins, I like it. Um, the variety of brands you do. Most channels dump on the other brands, but building is building and not everyone could. Yeah. And I don't know if you know much story, but, uh, you know, classic space was my thing back in, you know, 82, 83, 30 plus years away from Lego. My buddy buys me TIE Fighter, 9293, 9294, whatever the set number was from 2012. Love that TIE Fighter. Very shortly thereafter, I buy the matching X-Wing from the same wave, and I'm pretty much sucked right into this hobby. Um, love the stuff. Love. I love almost everything I build. Even the stuff that's bad is good. Building, like you said, building is building. Um, but then I got to a point where, okay, I can only buy so much Star Wars. I can only, and then I expand it into other stuff, you know. Overwatch and uh, some Technic and you know what stands out here Lego Ideas because I pretty much got them all now um, there's only so much Lego makes that I'm interested in and I'm interested in military sets tanks and I bought I don't know if it was Kazi or Oxford or something one of those companies and I bought one of their tanks and I fell in love with it the so actually it might have been Kazi huge tank monstrous tank and uh, you know n they're not perfect but then neither is Lego I mean we get mismolded parts wrong prints missing parts um, Lego's just the best at fixing their problems so I started going down that well of those sets. Um, but actually, before I bought a tank set, I had bought a l copycat TIE fighter. I needed to, well, not needed to. Um, I was writing a couple articles that were for either Lego Collectors Canada or Lego Collectors of Canada. It was probably of Canada, the other group, original group. Uh, Jamie Rosier's group on Facebook and I wanted to show what the current state of the art at the time was and this was probably what 95 96 why don't we say 95 96 
2015, 2016, something like that. And I wanted to show the state of the art of the copycat Star Wars figures so you could identify them because it was getting close. They were getting now the good copycat companies. They're pretty spot on, but five years ago, there was still a difference, but I wanted to show it. So I'd done the figures. I bought a batch of figures and then I did the TIE fighter and I still got that TIE fighter built and I still got the legit t Lego TIE fighter built. So it's um first order. First order of TIE Fighter. So I have the Leppin or Lili, probably Lili. And I got the real one. And I built them both. Times, and I did a little short re video review, whatever. It's somewhere on YouTube. You can find it under me for sure. And there's some minor differences. Bobong Baraka has liked the stream. Thank you, brother. Um. But clearly there wasn't anything about that copycat set that made me want to buy more copycat sets. So I didn't. There was none. But between that and then I jumped into the tanks. So yeah, afterwards I jumped into the tanks. Then it snowballed. Then I started dabbling, I would say about 20 to 35% of my budget into stuff coming from China. Not, ba not made by Lego. And that at least at the time I was ordering, I couldn't determine if it was like a copy of somebody's actual set or a major mock. Because sometimes you find out stuff after the fact. And I've bought toy sets from 15 different companies now, I think, give or take if I were to add them all up. Actual named companies. Most I'm pleased with. The final build, most I'm impressed with. There's been a few. It's like, phew, I'm glad I didn't pay Lego prices for this stuff. Um, and then there's been a few. It's like, oh, my God, the build was crud. And, but I'll tell you the truth. There's not a single Chinese set that I've bought in the last four years, as all bricks count, that's as bad as the early Mega Blocks was. <laughs> for quality of parts and parts falling off and wanting to commit suicide and damage and miss molds and you know missing legs and whatnot I mean hey Adam Adam's hanging out on Facebook and Adam liked the stream hey thanks brother okay so that's a good question what are my thoughts on Actually, before I, let, before I answer that, Cinder. Um, so, Ryan, Brick Maniac. So, when he finishes Yoda, this is the problem with the amalgamated stream. I'm following stuff back and forth. So next five is, oh, Yoda, the Hyper Ring, UCS tie. Oh, the UCS tie, you're going to, I mean, you're going to love it and you're going to hate it, but when it's done, you're going to love it. It's worth it. Um, the Kylo Shuttle and the UCS Y-Wing. Hey, maybe, maybe when you get to the UCS Y-Wing, maybe I'll crack open that one. Food for thought. We'll see. We'll see when you get close to that. So, what are my thoughts on heavy technic influence in Star Wars sets now? Well, I love it. I love it when it's used properly, and it makes the build better. Um, there's definitely a segment of the Lego community who wants to see more brick built. Um, they want to see less of that, you know, they want to see less of these. And I'm trying to, you know, let's pull something in well, there. And they want to see more of these actual bricks. Um, 
哇，一齊摸過。And I kind of agree. I would love to see more of that, but that's not where we're going. We are going more detailed, more greebling, um, more edges, more angles, uh, more um, snot tech. Excuse me, more snot technique stuff going in other directions. Excuse me. And if Technic gets us there and improves the build and improves the model, great. Because I'll tell you, when I built that. Tie fighter that that you know the nine two nine three or nine two nine four whatever the set number was. It was a great build, for what it was. And it had you know, a tiny little bit of technic, nothing much. But when you see the total brick built stuff from ninety nine two thousand, because I have those tie fighters too. They're wicked horrible. <laughs> They're just not cool. Um. So I'm, I, you know, if if Technic is going to give us a better build and a better model, I'm all for it. As long as they don't sacrifice, you know, the fun factor of the set. I mean, ultimately, we want, you know, if it's a spaceship, we want it to swoosh, and if it's a place set, we want it to be structurally sound. And if Technic helps us, why not? Why not? Um, but I'll tell you, Technic is intimidating. Because, you know, <laughs> as soon as you come into my place, the Technic Mack truck is still sitting there. One of the best deals ever from Costco. I mean, that thing was like less than, less than half price. And I, I never regret not buying a skid of it. I've gotten a few, but <laughs> not nearly enough. And I still haven't built it. And I think I'm down to one now. Um, and I'd wish I'd kept two just because I would like to build them both. There's two versions of the build. But now whatever I build, I'm going to have to build it and tear it apart to build a secondary build. And I'm convinced that I want the tractor trailer, which means i got to build the garbage truck first. And I'm hoping both sets of instructions are in there, but I sus suspect they're not. Actually, I should look that up ahead of time. But given that I don't own or have a lot of Technic, that's a set I could build any time, and I don't have to think about waves or where it's going to go, because it's going to look out of place no matter what. It's going to look great, and it's going to look massive. So since you asked me, what are your thoughts on the Technic you know, influence on the Star Wars sets now? And do you really think that the influence is that strong? I mean, I'm not talking UCS sets. But do you really think the influence is that strong? Um, I got nothing I can reach for that's new. A lot of older ones. Or, you know, two, three, four years. I don't, I wouldn't call that a Technic influence set. Um, no, there's like probably no Technic in that. The reason I asked is that I dropped Kylo's shuttle, shuttle setting up my display and it was a nightmare to take apart. Made me think of simply times when we kids could smash it and build something new. Okay, yeah, the... Um, I don't know which shuttle you dropped, the black one or the first one. That was much more gray. Definitely the wrong color scheme. That was tough to take apart. I mean, I, I needed the space, and those big, big, big wings were a pain. Um, <laughs> yeah, you know, actually, every time you come up with a Technic joint that makes something stronger, it's great. It's strong. And then you cry taking it apart. That's one reason I uh, got myself one of these. Cinder, you're probably going to like this here. See that? That, my friend, 
is one of the best. Let's see, I'll sh give you a demo. So there's your Technic pin, there's your brick. Here, I'll even make it harder for myself, but um, look how easy this is. And trust me, this is easier on your hand than trying to pull these out by your hand. The black one. Okay, see, I haven't built a black one. I don't believe it's all that different. I think it makes the builds better, for sure. I'd hate to to build that set without the Technic underpinnings, especially those big wings. Um, but yeah, you get yourself one of these five dollar um, band bow. These other guys who make them. Find them on AliExpress or on Wish.com or whatever. Five to eight bucks tops. Please don't pay ten bucks. It's comes in like six or seven pieces you put it together and you can see it's tech it's basically got lego see that yeah. but it's not lego it's band bow and uh it's also got a pin pusher or axle pusher there it's not a great one or anything it's as good as the lego one same you know actually lego is a little taller But I tell you, you get that, it is just so much easier to pull out pins and stuff. And if you got the little half pin, psh, just pop them out like that. Love this tool. Oh my goodness, I don't know how we did it. We went an hour and 26, and almost to midnight, although I've enjoyed it. I always enjoy talking to you guys. I don't care if there's one or a hundred of you in here, although I, I think I'd die if there was a hundred of you in here. I think when we had Mandar and BFAB in there, that was enough. My heart rate definitely went up. You know, there's actually a plugin where I can put my heart rate in the stream. So if I do get elevated, you know, you'll actually see it, 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 it just like my Apple Watch. Oh, I can't see them from here. I mean, all I see is the black logo colored, you know, white on black. I got to get the videos out. I got, I'm going to commit to, I'm going to get two videos out t this weekend. I was supposed to do three. I'm going to get two out this weekend. But, uh, I mean, there's only one big one and one small one left, I think. I'm not counting the Icarus. I'll, I'll just pull out the part, the figures, and show it off. But, uh, what's Snups say? Firing up. There's my Snups. Well, it looks pretty clear there. So, if we go all the way down. Lego, Lego. See, now we're going to, I get all the Lego on top. And then we go to Mega. This is how I set up my stuff. So I got Lego, Lego, and then Lego weird stuff like the books, the cards, my mocks, and miscellaneous. Whoops. And then Mega Blocks as a whole, Halo sets, Master sets, Call of Duty sets, Game of Thrones sets, and then other manufacturers like Farland Bricks Toys, the Hasbro Brick Toys, Dragon Blocks, Playday Expressions, which is technically Sluban. And then, where's the other ones? A lot of figures from all the Chinese companies. Okay, and then uh, Jingbao, Kazi, Sluban, Ossini, Decool, Panlos, QWZ, uh, QWZ, hish, Enlighten, although the Enlighten one was cool because that was the, uh, that was the Devastator. I know it's not so clear, but that was, that was pretty cool. That one was pretty cool. Um, LOZ minis, they're like diamond blocks. And of course, this one here. 
one of the most massive builds ever, the Gundam. That's definitely going to be top five, even though I had to fix a lot of things to make that work. That thing is huge. I mean, that's a solid 24 inches tall. Super 18K made that. Jack Bricks. Jack Bricks is pretty sketchy. I mean, that right there. Okay, we, the question though is, which Call of Duty set is next? Mm -hmm. Okay. Going through, going through. So the boxes. So we built the armored. We built this tank. We built this APC. So what's left is the Call of Duty Special Ops Chopper. So we got that one. And then we've got... And then we've got that one left. Which would be interesting, like, if I were to do that and then build that. <laughs> I'll look at it. I mean, they don't even compare, do they? But, um, I just realized I've had that upside down the whole time. Chances are I'll do the chopper and then I'll leave that plane to the end since the plane was the last acquisition. Yeah, that Gundam was cool. Oh, okay. I got you here. I still have not committed to Optimus Prime or Soundwave. I don't want to do Bumblebee. Bumblebee doesn't interest me in the slightest. I have access to all three, of course. But, um... So, I mean, the Soundwave looks amazing. Cursors. Come on. Does that not work? Okay. I know it's fuzzy as all hell, but there's the prime. And then there is the bumblebee, 3,500 pieces, 3,100 pieces for Soundwave, and it looks like you build a rav uh, the, the panther, Ravage or whatever. So, I mean, Prime, Prime's less pieces, but he's so iconic, and apparently the parts are chromed. Oh man, you got a G1 Soundwave. You're lucky because people pay good money for that. I don't have any of my Transformers left. Not a single one. Nothing. The last Transformers I bought were all Headmasters. About four of them. Couldn't tell you any of them except I know I had the Ape one. But beyond that, I couldn't remember anything else. But I love the heads. I thought they were amazing, the Headmasters. But of the original diecast Transformers. My, one of my faces was Soundwave, the red Lamborghini. Mostly die cast metal, very little plastic on it. I loved it. And I mean, what a great era that was collecting Transformers and G.I. Joe at the time. I mean, I'm not going to say everything else that came after that was crap. I tell you though, the Transformers movie killed Transformers. I mean, clearly the movie was a vehicle to sell more toys. Marvel, Sunbro Productions at the time, Marvel Animated Studios, in the old days of Marvel Comics, you know, did that movie. And it was a great movie. But it was a vehicle to sell toys, period. And they killed off virtually every Transformer we loved going into that movie. And then we had two kind of cruddy TV seasons that came after that movie. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. You got a Black Series 6-inch fig coming? Which one? Which figure? Which one Which one broke it for you? 
I can't even guess because there's over a hundred figures now. I saw photos of a Mandalorian. I gotta admit that'd be kind of cool. I don't want to get into the six inch figures. There's just ugh. if I buy one, I'm gonna want to buy a bunch of them for whatever reason. Then I'm gonna want to build a diorama for them. Ahsoka. Ooh. I seen that. That's pretty detailed. That one. That's kind of cool. Are you going to build an Ahsoka shrine? Actually, if you're going to build a shrine for a figure, that's probably a good one because you're not going to find too much of it. You know, you build a shrine to Vader or Luke or something stupid like that, and you're screwed. It's just too much. decide if I want to buy that prime I like the idea of a bigger build though 3100 it's definitely sounds better than 2700 pieces and it's gonna cost me plus or minus three dollars more pieces feels like a better build to me but then it's prime you know and it's a pretty unmistakable prime you know there are a lot of people who can walk past Soundwave and not notice, but you don't have to be a Transformers guy to recognize Optimus Prime. Pretty iconic. I've actually very intentionally avoided looking at those Star Wars figures. just so that I wouldn't get sucked in. Same way with the, um, not the bobbleheads, what do you call them? All those Star Wars ones are bobbleheads technically. Pops. I very intentionally avoided looking at a lot of them because I'm afraid when I find that one that I like, I'm screwed. Star Wars ones weren't enough, they were close, but it's like, Smurfs could do it. A Smurf pop. A Papa Smurf pop. Oh, that'd be bad news for me. But actually, if they did it, yeah, if they did a Funko Pop of a Papa Smurf, I think I'd be screwed. I'd want them. Papa Smurf, Smurf Ed, Brainy Smurf. Oh, this, that, I think that was gone in f four hours on Amazon. I don't know if it'll be back or not. But Ryan said it, uh, it was available on Best Buy. So check out Best Buy. Same pricing. You might even be able to get so in the match them too. I don't know if the Best Buy still has it up though. But I know a lot of people were very pleased to be able to get it from Best Buy uh, until they saw the sticker because almost everyone I know who ordered it from Best Buy got it with a sticker on the box. If you don't care. <laughs> 578 pieces, five figures at 40 bucks. That's, that's good value in my book, whether you like it or not. Sold out on Best Buy today. Oh. That sucks. I wonder now, since Best Buy matched Amazon, who will be next? Walmart? Mastermind? I never get deals from Mastermind. I don't even know why I look. It's never, at first I don't have any close to me. So that's problem number one. Not, maybe close to my work. But it's out of the way. So I don't like that. If it's between work and home. And I don't have to deviate backwards. I don't mind checking out stuff. Which is why Walmarts work good for me. Some Toys R Us work good for me. But masterminds are nowhere in my route. They're all far away. They're paying the butt. 
Not a fan. And I never get deals in Mastermind Online. I almost never get deals there either. Mastermind has a 20% off coupon right now, but don't they make it hard to use it on Lego? Or is it just, oh, it's not, uh, not on new Lego, not on ideas, I think. And you got your first helmet with it. Oh, cool. I know they emailed me a coupon. I pretty much blanket ignore them now. <laughs> That's so bad with Mastermind. I like going into the store. They got some great toys for kids and educational stuff. If I was having another kid, I'd probably do more shopping in there. I know a lot of people swear by them for the uh, CMF boxes. Or the minifigs. I think for the next stream we'll cut out Twitch. Not that I think it's a problem. I'm just not seeing much of a point. I have picked up virtually nobody. And then mostly because I don't think there's a non-gaming segment to Twitch that's worth me trying for. Unless I get much bigger. Just the wrong market. I haven't gotten good deals for Mastermind, but they always seem to have a better selection than the local Toys R Us. Really? A better selection of Lego than Toys R Us? That's something. I wonder if that's a regional problem. I mean, I know I'm spoiled here in the GTA in Toronto area. If they come out with Star Wars CMS, we are splitting a case between us. Dude, if they, if, <laughs> if they, uh, maybe you and, and Cinder Sins, because you guys are closer together, because I'll tell you the truth. If they come out with a CMF, I will probably end up buying a case or two. And you know what? So is everyone else. They're going to try. That is going to be, if that rumor ever comes true, it's going to be explosive. It's going to be explosive. Here's the thing, though. They don't have to make them CMFs, and they're going to make a fortune. If they could just get around the Hasbro license that Hasbro picked up, um, there's some other company now that isn't Hasbro Kenner making Star Wars figures in, I don't know if it's 6 or 12, like a 12-inch scale. But anyway, they're, they're a mini figure. They're, they're a figure. And Hasbro isn't saying anything about it. This tells me there's some wiggle room now. And maybe Lego is finally going to be able to sell one off. So the figures, instead of it just being a poly bag as a free giveaway or whatever. Because the wording, the wording of the agreement is, is that when Lego did try, and they had put out the three-figure packs back in 99 or 2000, they got sued. And, uh, you know, cease and desist orders were sent, and they had to stop. So any figure packs they were going to do had to have a mini build in them, which is why we get the battle packs and whatnot. But I tell you, if we can just go and buy a single figure off a shelf, you know, buy your favorite, you know, Luke Skywalker or whatever. I don't know why I pulled a Mega Bloks figure out. I guess if we're going to crap on Lego we might as well bring all the companies out but um, here's one a lot of people grandizer I would love to be able to buy that in real Lego Lego could easily have a whole secondary business if they would just put figures on cards with a little blisters on them just like G.I. Joe's and just like Star Wars figures Little carded Lego figures. Star Wars pump out, you know, 100 figs a year. Not in the sets. Make them all unique to the cards. And then and make the ones in the box sets um, unique too. Lego's not stupid. If they could do it, I'm sure they'd be doing it. It's just a license problem right now. 
Yeah, but you know, everyone's been saying that for about four years now that we would have him. I'd love to see him. But that's going to be crazy. It's bad now with the CMFs. But it feels like it's dropped off. It really has. I mean, I got the two recent ones. I still got to finish the video on that, too. I'm so bad. I was handling the figures today, moving them around. But, um... I mean, there's definitely room for more. But here's the thing. If they're also moving to the boxes, I mean, there goes all the feeling. The only thing we can hope for is that maybe on the bottom of the box they use the dimples or some other computer method to determine what's what. And that's a European thing, actually. They're not obligated, I think, to do it here in North America. Europe is the one that forces them to uniquely identify each, the contents of each one. EU laws are actually better than a lot of the stuff we have in North America. And see, my source for most of these CMFs the last bunch of years, when I got to a point where because me and my daughter were going in, like, you know, with the, remember the blue shark and that when we start feeling out on the figures. And I did a couple of sets on my own. But once she grew out of that, because, you know, her and me would go into the store together and spend an hour and feel them all out and give them to kids who were looking, hey, they want this and we'd find that. And we had a lot of fun. But once she grew out of that, and I didn't want to do that on my own because I felt weird and creepy doing that on my own. Then I hooked up with Jonathan Hudson at Bricks Underground. And he started hooking them up with virtually every set since I gave up feeling them out myself. Very fair price. He makes its tiny markup. I get my sets. I get to chat with him. Because um, he's a great guy. And uh, but he might be getting out of it because the most recent um, series was tough. It wasn't equal distribution in the boxes. Some people couldn't even make a set. So if they are screwing around with the CMF boxes where you're not going to be guaranteed X number of sets at all, I mean, it makes it a little riskier. I mean, there's a lot of people who will give you a CMF set not opened and you're, they're dead on. But now if they're going to be boxed inside the master carton and you don't know what they are, you can't feel them out and you can't identify them. That means everyone selling a set's going to have to open them. I mean, that's going to suck. That makes them harder to sell loose, too. I mean, the first time I bought a set from him, and he had just cut open the tops, and I said, do whatever you got to do to properly identify them, because I don't want any trouble. I want my 16 or 12 or whatever number of figures it is. No troubles. And ever since, it's like, that's the way it is, and I'm cool with that. I think the only thing I'm, I missed out on with him was, I think, a magic wand or something. I think he owes me a magic wand. And I'm not crying over that. I know he's good for it. I see him two, three times a year. It'll happen. Let's see, and in stores, Toys R Us pricing for Star Wars sets has been wonky, 5 to 15 percent high. I saw that. I, j I noticed that, that some of the sets are higher, and I, I don't know why they're higher. I mean, if they think they can get away with it, or if, you know, if it works out that, I mean, no matter what, I think it's all priced high enough that everyone makes money no matter what they price them at. I don't think any of them have ever really lost money by discounting the Lego. You know, they know they're going to make, you know, 40% of their money at full price. And they know they're going to make another 40% at 
their first discounted price and the rest they're going to make at the clearance price and at each point they're still in the profit zone that's how much lego's overpriced that's that's what my gut says and i've seen enough online to believe that i've ha had enough credible people tell me that the pricing is such that everyone makes lego makes no one's paying and distributing to all of their centers worldwide it's crazy um ooh, don't want to start a fire my sweater fell off and landed on the lamp if you have any harry potter sets they all have extra ones yeah i know but the one figure was missing its wand pair so it's like hey you know or it was missing something else i can't remember which now but i'll be doing the video so i'll, I'll get another crack at screwing with that because i still haven't taken any of my pictures or photography for those i got the set he got me which is i think was the harry potter and i got the marl no i got that backwards I got the Mario. It was the Mario. I got the Mario from him because I'm missing not a wand. I'm missing an instruction book. Getting older, but it's all there. I'm missing. Yeah, big deal, right? I'm missing the instruction. I had to actually reverse engineer how to build one of those builds. Which, by the way, that Nintendo CMF set, that thing was wicked. If you like Nintendo at all, those were cool. I'm sorry, they really were. And they actually look like they're little 8-bit characters, you know? I, I, I thought, uh, as I'm sitting here in front of this piece of crap, piece of crap, <laughs> I don't like him. I just don't like him. Lego Mario is not included, if only. Although, I'll tell you, if I had a Mario, I need a Bowser. Got to have a Bowser. Wow, we're we're an hour fifty-two. We're buck fifty-two in. Tell you what, guys, let's call this one a night. And I don't know if I'll do a build tomorrow. I really should do one of those two videos actually we'll make it a, a reward if i can pump out one video tomorrow i will do a build tomorrow i think that's what we're going to do with that so let's uh let's wrap this up richard martin for charles hodge has followed how did i not catch this is that true There we go. Yeah, that is true. He was in there. Okay, so yeah, I'm going to wrap this up. So Richard Martin for Albrecht's count. This was uh, this week's Lego haul. Next week's will be smaller, but there should be a couple of good stories in there. Catch me on uh, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram. I'm on Twitch, but no one's watching me there, so... Don't catch me there. This is probably the last stream to Twitch. I'll probably just turn off that tunnel. And uh, I'll catch you tomorrow one way or the other. Have a good night, guys.